a strong blog full of modern art, makes it the largest modern art gallery in Europe and the most popular modern art gallery in the world. Completely free to enter, only for two exhibitions that charge company day are Edward Munch, the artist of the screen, and Damien Hurst, arguably Britain's most successful artist ever. Theatre now on the right-hand side, built in 1997, is a replica of the, one of the original Globe Theatres. The brainchild of Sam Wanamaker, the famous American actor and director, he came over in the 20th century and was disappointed to find that we paid very little homage in London to Shakespeare, so it became his dream to rebuild the Globe Theatre. This rebuilt version is open every year from April to October and performs a range of shows, mostly Shakespeare, but includes some new writing as well. It is open air, so if it rains, you get wet, and you aren't allowed to get up out of an umbrella. In fact, you get rather unceremoniously thrown out if you attempt to do that. The original Globe Theatre theater stood just up here on the right-hand side. As you pass underneath Southwark Bridge, with its real gas lamps going all the way along the top, on the right-hand side you have the Black Financial Times building, and it's on that site that the original Globe Theatre stood. Built in 1597, it burnt down in 1613, when Shakespeare thought it would be a brilliant idea to go to the from the stage into the roof. The entire set burned down, but just they rebuilt it, a bigger one and a better one. And it's that second Globe Theatre that ours is a replica of. That second Globe Theatre was pulled down in the mid-17th century by the Puritans. Just run around, no, no, go, walk around, walk around, walk around. Cannon Street Railway Bridge by Lee's favourite bridge on the Thames, I think it's hideous. You can see it. Another replica, the original was used in 1577 by Francis Drake when he became the first Englishman to circumnavigate the globe. This replica sailed around the world twice once more than the original. It's stopped here now, you can go on board and give yourself a self-guided tour. You can even hire it out for parties, which I hear is a lot of fun. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, coming under one of the most exciting bridges today. This, ladies and gentlemen, is London Bridge. I know, it's thoroughly disappointing. <laughs> But of course, London Bridge is our seminal bridge. This concrete masterpiece dates back to 1972. We've had at least five London bridges in these areas. The first one was built by Poland in 1843. The most famous of all the London bridges has to be the medieval London Bridge. The very first stone bridge is stood for 693 years, had houses going all the way up to the top of the six or seven stories high, with up to 5,000 people living and working on the bridge at any one point. By the chapel in the middle, churches at either end. And at the south, south end, so towards the southern corner, on right hand side of the drawbridge, was the white gatehouse. And on that gatehouse, there were spikes, and there were those spikes, and there were trenches, and there were trenches, and there were trenches, and there right in the middle, with the weather vane, the flag, light, and the top. That's the White Tower, built in 1077 by 